Um, I mentioned that I, my thesis was a rhyming dictionary. That's actually true. And I can actually show you because I can share my screen. So uh, hopefully if I can find the thing, yes. Uh, so I made a, a, a rhyming dictionary um, that where the, the main point of it, uh, it's, it's online at rhyme.science. The main idea is that it will tell you what kind of accent you need to have for a rhyme to work because a lot of rhymes only work in certain accents. So uh, for instance, earlier in the previous song, I said, until I demand all your names and your handles, um, that doesn't actually rhyme in my accent. I would say until I demand all your names and your handles. And that's called uh, the trap bath merger because also the words trap and bath have different vowels for me, whereas a lot of Americans um, in particular would say trap and bath. Um, and there are some other words, uh, mergers like that. Um, so there's the father bother merger, which I have in my rhyming dictionary. I don't have the trap bath merger here, but if the words father and bother rhyme for you, then you might have the father bother merger and that affects a lot of other words as well. Um, like in, in some of Joko's lyrics, he rhymes love with of, that doesn't rhyme for me. Unfortunately, rhyme science gets that wrong, so I won't show you that. Um, and uh, there's also the cot court merger where, so if the word cot as in like a bed rhymes with the past tense of catch, then um, that's, that's a different merger. Um, so in the Joko song, Millionaire Girlfriend, he says, and I will put it on as I watch Gardner mow the lawn. And he's rhyming on and lawn, but those don't actually rhyme unless you have the cot court merger. Uh, so I've already searched for lawn here, and you can see uh, not all of these are exactly correct. I got all of this data. Um, I wrote a, a Mac app that would basically go through a whole lot of word lists and about 1% of Wikipedia and use the text-to-speech API to figure out how they're pronounced and build a, a database of rhymes. Um, but here, these are mostly words that would rhyme with lawn in all accents. Uh, some of that lawn doesn't really work, Tron doesn't, but um, then if you scroll down, these are some rhymes that only work, only rhyme with lawn if you have the cot court merger. And then if you scroll down further, if you have cot court merged and father bother merged, then also things like Khan and Nan will rhyme, um, but that's another vowel entirely. So um, that's just a kind of an idea of what this rhyming dictionary does. Um, I also added a random rhyme button, which just gives you a random pair of rhymes and maybe some more rhymes that rhyme just in specific accents, which I, I loaded up a fairly good example. Um, so bored rhymes with he hoard in any accent. And then if you have the cot court merger, then mod also rhymes. And if you also have the father father merger, then harad also rhymes with that. Um, if you have all of that and you have a non-rhotic accent, which means you don't pronounce the Rs at the ends of syllables, basically, then mard will rhyme because it will just be mod. And if you just have a non-rhotic accent, then board rhymes with accord, which would be pronounced accord. Um, so that's, a, you can also, you can click on these um, question marks to find out a little bit about it, uh, except for when there's a could not fetch information error. Uh, anyway, it's not perfect because it got all of this data from text to speech and then the father bother stuff I had to separate out manually. Um, but it's a good proof of concept, I think. And you can look at that in rhyme science. Um, so there's a thing I did with the random rhymes. I, I tweet them at, in the rhyme science Twitter account. And um, I did a thing called NaNoWriMo, which you might've heard of as National Novel Writing Month, but I just think of it as 
like really small rhymes. So every day I would find a nice random rhyme from rhyme science and then do a poem about it. So for the for concealed rhymes with kneeled, um, I came up with this one. They saw the violence and they kneeled, did not kowtow and did not yield a shout of silence that concealed the loudest power they could wield. And then I got another one, which was a little bit weird. Uh, one interesting thing about uh, feeding it 1% of Wikipedia is that it can also find two word phrases that rhyme with single words. So it found Bernard Wood rhymes with hardwood. And uh, for that one, I wrote, uh, a tree would never leave you. It's your steadfast, loyal bud. A tree would never leave you. It will root for you, come hail or flood. A tree would never leave you. It's as solid as hardwood. A tree would never leave you. But Bernard would. Um, so other things I've been doing with text to speech. I mentioned that uh, I'm kind of shy about singing. So quite a while ago, I found out that you can give commands to the text to speech to make it sing in its specific pitches and stuff. And I wrote an app where I can just play a tune on a MIDI keyboard and type in some lyrics and it will sing for me. And then I was learning about um, how to do harmonies. I did some music uh, lessons with John and Elio, and um, I wrote this little four part harmony it is about the four voices that kind of accumulate in your head as you get older to do with self-confidence. And also, I'm sure you're not surprised, it's also about poop. It's called Shit Your Inner Voice Says, um, which you can find this on my Bandcamp at angelastic.bandcamp.com. I'm going to read you the words first because if you're not used to hearing text to speech voices, maybe it'll be hard to understand. So first of all, you've just learned how to use the potty and you think, wow, how great. Look how in control my bowel is. Clearly I know where my towel is. And then you get a bit older and you wonder, what if all I do is shit? How do they put up with it? But then later you think, well, push and push and I'll improve. No, my shit, my bowel will move. And then you realize everyone poops. If everyone poops, maybe I'm no worse than them. Maybe I'm no better than them. Maybe I'm just as good. So this is what it sounds like with four different Macintosh voices. I hope that I shared the sound when I shared my screen. Um, let me know if you don't hear anything. Look how in control my bowel is. Clearly I know where my towel is. What Look if all I do is shit? Is. How do they put up with it? What if all I do is shit? How do they put up with it? What if I do is shit? How do they put up with if everyone poops, maybe I'm no worse than them, maybe I am just as good. Okay, it seems like maybe people didn't hear that so well, but you can find that on my Bandcamp page. And on the subject of my Bandcamp page, I released an album two days ago uh, of poetry. It's called Wake Up Gasping. It has 42 tracks. Um, and quite a few of them are nano so they're very short. So it's only about an hour. And it has this great cover art by Joseph Kamen, whom I met on the boat. Uh, some of you probably know him as well. And you can get that at angelastic.bandcamp.com. Uh, and now I think I can, wait, I didn't want to, I don't want to do a new share. How do I unshare the screen? Uh, uh, 
Um, I'm not sure how to stop sharing my. Oh, it, it looks like I didn't share sound. Okay, cool. It's I, all right. I'm I have shared. the master power. <laughs> I can take your share away. Oh, yay! Thank you. <laughs> Um, so it looks like I didn't share my sound that time. That's why you couldn't hear that. I will try to remember that for the later things that require sound.